for Auburn. Thank you. Um, as members would be aware, the electorate of Auburn has the largest Ukrainian population in New South Wales. The 25th of November 2023 marks a tragic memorable, memorable day for our Ukrainian com community, the Holomodala Remembrance Day. This marks the 90th annu annual commemoration of Holodomor uh, by the Ukrainian community. Holodomor, meaning death by hunger, was an artificial famine in Ukraine brought about by the deliberate actions of the Stalin government um, and, uh, and is believed to have caused the death by starvation of millions of Ukrainians. In 1932, the USSR set impossibly high quotas for the amount of grain Ukrainian villages were, were required to contribute to the Soviet state. When the villages were not able to meet the quotas, authorities intensified the requisition campaign, confiscating even the seeds set aside for planting and levying fines in meat and potatoes for failure to fulfil quotas. Special teams were sent to search homes and even seized other foodstuffs. Starving farmers attempted to leave their villages in search of food but Soviet, Soviet authorities issued a decree forbidding Ukraine's peasant, presence, peasants from leaving the country. As a result, many thousands of farmers who had managed to leave their villages were apprehended and sent back, virtually a death sentence. A law was introduced that made even the theft of even a few stalks of grain an act of sabotage punishable by execution. In some cases, soldiers were posted in watchtowers to prevent people from taking any of the harvest. Although uh, the dire can the dire conditions in Ukraine were well understood. Central authorities ordered local officials to extract even more from the villages. Millions starved as the USSR sold crops from Ukraine abroad. The famine followed a campaign of intimidation and arrests of Ukrainian intellectuals, writers, artists, religious leaders and political leaders after Ukraine had briefly become an independent country between 1917 and 1921. I join with the global community in remembering the lives of the millions of men, women and children who were killed by this atrocity of depriving Ukrainians of food leading to their starvation. It is imperative that we prevent such tragedies happening in the future. Unfortunately, Ukraine continues to suffer at the hands of Russia. The recent invasion of the Ukraine by Russia is aimed once again at destroying the national, cultural, religious and democratic aspirations of the Ukrainian people. Uh, since Russia's full-scale invasion on the 24th of February 2022. Once again, Russia has continued to use uh, the use of food as a weapon of war during this invasion. Through its attacks on Ukraine's agricultural production and seizure of Ukraine's grain um, exports, they have, they have also failed um, to recommit to the initiative on the safe transportation of grain and foodstuffs from Ukrainian ports. It is important that we do not lose sight of our support for Ukraine in this conflict. The conflict has now been underway for more than uh, the Ukrainian conflict has now been under, underway for many years. But for the last four months, um, Ukraine has led a counter, uh, a counter offensive. Western Kazan has now been liberated, and the Ukrainian forces has recently crossed the Dnipro River which could be a significant foothold to transfer armoured vehicles and defence systems closer to the Crimean Peninsula. Holodomor Remembrance Day and the loss of lives both from the 1932 famine and the current Russian invasion of the Ukraine are important reminders of the bravery of the Ukrainian people in their battle for an independent democratic country with a government that represents the will and aspirations of the Ukrainian people. Yeah. I call the member